at this point i was just praying that please if i crack this coconut open let it not be rotten inside let it not be spot inside because i bought it from this store and i had to like keep it two days in the house before using it and i said please i hope this coconut will be okay today let me just use it to make us something delicious and today we'll be making coconut fried rice god so thank my coconut was good inside i have to like drain the water out because i love drinking coconut water and here is my coconut i love it so well it was good and perfect and this is me saying hello everyone y'all are welcome to nessa kitchen a big thank you to all of you thank you so much for always watching my videos i truly appreciate you or if you are coming across my channel you've not subscribed please subscribe and you're welcome so i divided the coconut into two Two. I grated some and then the remaining one I'll be blending it because I want to get um the juice the juice from the coconut the milk I want to blend it and then I'll be sieving it so that I will get the milk from the coconut and this is it after blending I put it into a sieve and I got enough um coconut milk I love what I got I have to like sieve it again the second time to remove all those um brownish particles because I didn't peel my coconut you can go ahead and after breaking your coconut you will peel um the skin that brownish part you can remove it so that you, your coconut will be like pure white when you blend the juice out then i'll be using this big mama rice and i put it in a bowl i'll go in with some water i have to like wash my rice very well after washing my rice i decided to add um some of the already made coconut milk that i got from the store if you don't want to go through the process of breaking your coconut and straining out the milk from it you can use that one but i wanted my rice to give me that perfect coconut stuff i mean pepin, um, coconut flavor so i went in first with with, um the coconut milk i got from the one i broke and then i added the one i got from the store it was a little bit frozen because i got it like a day ago and it was in my shrunk i mean in my fridge and we'll be using turkey in our rice so i was boiling the turkey i got the water out of the turkey and i mixed it inside the coconut milk i got i went in with a little bit of salt and i'll be using maggi crayfish i went in with one cube of maggi crayfish i'll be using black pepper and i'll be using white pepper the first one was the black pepper and then the second one was the white pepper after that i went in with my wash rice and i'll just mix it i'm not going to put any curry any garlic powder mm -mm. i don't want them to like overshadow and give me another scent i want to have that perfect scent of coconut in my rice because like i said we are making coconut rice so i boiled my rice and this is it you can see it's giving us that white milky color and that is what i want i don't want to be seeing curry all and all those time and everything thing so my rice is boiling and after some time i went in with foil paper on the rice and i opened it and yeah i got what i wanted it gave me the milky color and when i opened it my the coconut flavor and everything was just scenting in my nose and it scented so well and here is coconut oil so i'll be sprinkling a little bit of coconut oil on my rice i'm using coconut oil you can use vegetable oil but please if you are making your coconut um, fried rice just try your best to like get everything in the coconut for months so after that my rice is done i took it away from the fire i put a pan i went in with my coconut oil a little bit then i'll be using these shrimps i got it from the store it's like this um the color is like this because they put a little bit of garlic on it and it also have spring onions that's what is greenish on it and i love it like that so much so i just fried it until it was golden brown and i took it away from the pan Stay in the same pan. I'll go in with my chopped onions and then I'll fry my chopped onions. And then I decided to put just a little garlic. I didn't want the garlic to come and smell so much. Then I went in with the frozen vegetable. The first one had um carrot and green bean. Then I decided to cut a little bit of the yellow paprika and the green paprika i went in with salt and i think i went in with maggie then i returned my shrimps into it i will mix it and here comes the magic that will give your rice that perfect coconut crunchiness and taste that you want the coconut that i grated 
earlier so i'll be putting it in my rice if you don't want to grate it you can use this one this one is already made you'll buy it like this in the store it has a little little bit of the coconut but it's not like the one i grated the one i grated is it came out more big i love the size it and even when eating it you'll be feeling it in your mouth but that other one you won't really like feel it but you you'll feel the aroma like the flavor so after frying everything i love the way it came out i love the way the coconut i grated to came out and everything is perfect our vegetable um for the coconut fried rice is ready so i'll just set that aside then i put in another pan and i went in with a little bit of um, the coconut oil so what i'm doing now i'll reduce a little bit of the vegetables that i make i'll put it in the pan i'll put a little bit of the rice and then i'll just fry it together if you don't want to do this process after frying your vegetables the way i fried it earlier just turn them into your rice and then just mix it and allow it to just steam on fire for one or two minutes and it's ready but i like frying my so i fried the first one and then this is the second one so i'll be mixing everything back in the pot this rice tasted so so good i really enjoyed it and i was like coconut fried rice i think it will be on my timetable um for every week yeah <laughs> because it came out so well i love it so well and i just said let me just show you guys how it's looking and it came out so perfect the aroma all the vegetables i use and everything and everything i use in this coconut i got everything right it's just that i didn't put coconut flavor other people like dropping a little bit of coconut flavor in their coconut rice but i didn't go in with the flavor and the only way to enjoy this coconut fried rice is with plantain you see that ripe overripe dodo i have to like fry it to be this golden brown and then i took it off from my pan at this point my kitchen was scenting coconut my kitchen was scenting plantain like it was just giving me that i am hungry i am hungry i want to eat vibes so my plantain is fried and i love the way i cut it this tiny cube and i say let me present this to you people in a very perfect way you know when you come to vanessa's kitchen and when she's making food for you this is how she will serve you and if you ever visit me and i decide to make you coconut fried rice just know that you hold a very very a very dear place in my heart okay so the turkey i did earlier i have to like grid it or i air fried it i didn't grid it in the oven and i didn't fry it i just put it in my air fryer and guys look at what we have like this food is giving like it's it's giving a hundred over a hundred <laughs> rate me over 10 in the comment section that's if you want to leave a comment i appreciate you watching without leaving a comment just subscribe and like it's okay because yeah you guys watch but you don't leave a comment but it's okay i love it so much but the comment section is open to correction or anything so will you be trying this in your home try it okay bye